Hey water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what is going to happen between you and your special person the next time you guys see each other, the next time you catch up. It is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed just below the video where the show more section is. Okay, um, it seems like for a lot of you there are very, some very strong blockages between you and this person. Okay, the two of swords here in the center of the reading um, is a very strong indication of either a no contact, no communication period or phase that you're going through or what feels very much like a disconnection between yourself and your individual. So um, maybe, you know, the connection um, is... The connection itself is losing momentum. Um, maybe your person has been acting differently or has just been feeling differently about you and about, about the connection. Maybe it's your energy. Maybe you're, you know, being the water sign that you are. Maybe you're picking up on their energy, their mood, and, um, it, you know, you're absorbing it. And as a result, you're, you know, it, it, you're projecting that onto the connection itself. So I feel like there's a lot of complexities. I feel like there's a lot of... Um, intricacies in this connection there are feelings involved which lo and behold you know what makes this very complicated what makes this that much more complex um and there is room it feels like you know whatever the two of you have going on in this connection there's room and space like the physical space the emotional and the mental space for this to be so much more than what it is but the reason why it's not growing, the reason why it's not flourishing is because there are certain blockages, okay, either in both of your energies as an individual or there are certain blockages. It could be outside um, blockages as well. So it could be opposing factors, external factors that may be opposing this connection. But I feel like it's those very blockages, okay, there could be internal or external guys, but I feel like it's those very blockages that are preventing you from, you know, moving this forward between you and your person. So even though there's no contact, no communication, I do feel like um, I am seeing that there is going to be a reunion of some sort, but it doesn't feel necessarily like it's going to be in the immediate near future. Okay, so I'm not necessarily sensing that it's going to be a matter of days or even like a matter of weeks before you see this person again. I feel like there's some sort of obstacles that need to be overcome. And I feel like right now with your person's energy, I feel like there's a lot of... Um, overwhelming and some very complicated emotions that are sort of you know residing in their energy and I feel like they need to figure things out and maybe a part of them trying to figure things out is why is the reason why they blocked you but I do see that I see like an outpouring I see an outpouring of emotions when the two of you finally do decide to com communicate um, you do decide to talk and see each other it's like this person is really opening up their heart. So right now it feels like they've blocked you or you've blocked them or, you know, the both of you are not, no contact, no communication because your person is trying to figure some things out right now. They want you and they need you and they love you, but it's not as simple or it's not, it's not as straightforward as that. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be complicated, but unfortunately it is. There is something here that's complicating things. To the point where I feel like for some of you it might even be frustrating, right? It's not that easy. It's not that simple. It's not that black and white. There are patches and actually a lot of areas of, um, you know, gray areas. Your person, I feel like, has a hard time processing their emotions, okay? Your person um, may have a hard time managing, handling their emotions. They may feel in this overwhelming, intense um complexity and intensity when they're with you okay so it just feels like I don't think they've ever been in love this way before I don't think or it's been quite some time I just feel like that your person has never felt um or maybe this is your energy sometimes you know energies feed off each other um 
someone here feels like they've never felt this way about an individual before or they've never loved as strongly as fiercely as intensely as they do even if it's early days guys the ace of cups seems to suggest that there is some very new um and rather overwhelming and overflowing um you know emotions here uh so a, like a stirring of new exciting foreign emotions and feelings which are almost inexplainable or indescribable to your person or to yourself and this is what's caused your person to pull away this is what's caused um you know this sort of disconnection because it is so intense and it is so overwhelming here but I think you've gone from, you know, this happy place, this honeymoon phase of the relationship to what now feels like a no contact, no communication phase. I'm also seeing that, you know, despite the both of you being at a stage where you're not communicating with one another, or even if you guys are talking, it's not the same, right? It hasn't been the same for a while. It's just like um, the conversation is very, very brief and short and yourself or this person hasn't been the same uh, but it feels like they do want to reach you it feels like they want to communicate they just don't know what to say or they just don't know how to say it or they don't know if now's a good time to bring up certain issues especially issues regarding their emotions but look for a long time okay and for quite some time you've been their happy place and they've been your happy place but right now um I think it's fair to say that you're not exactly at this place you know you're not at a point in time where you're happy with the connection you're happy with the relationship or you're happy with the way that things are progressing but they do essentially want to go back to that and the cards seem to indicate the four of um wands energy it seems to indicate that there is going to be this you know um very joyous and very memorable and very special i'm seeing that there's a special like a space in the energies here and in the reading for a reunion to take place so this is like a coming home back to one another this is like finding each other again the universe guiding um the both of you to one another with with regards to their current um situation right now i feel like career is a big focus for them i'm also seeing that you're quite focused yourself you've got your own things going on um and it just feels like it feels like the both of you have restricted access to one another that's what it feels like it feels like even if you guys are talking or if you're not talking for that matter it just feels like you're there's this restricted access to each other now um what will your reunion be like it'll be emotional it'll be very emotional um it'll be difficult okay it'll be emotional to, um because as i've mentioned I, I feel like it might even be um you know it might bring you to tears like seeing them again perhaps maybe after such a long time or them actually opening up might bring you to tears or you know they may actually open up and um they might become quite emotional in front of you or with you here because i do see yeah i see like a you know a, someone's heart chakra here is opening up i see someone you know pouring out their heart their emotions just like speaking you know speaking their truth um talking about their feelings opening themselves up i see a strong sense of vulnerability someone being so raw so vulnerable with you that you know they're finally letting you see them for who they are okay and this is you being so i don't think you've ever been so open or so um so vulnerable with someone before as you will with this person or as you have been with this person okay and if so i feel like there's more of that to come the reunion is going to be very powerful because it's going to um you know you're going to sort of flash back to all these wonderful memories that the two of you ha had to one had with one another and then you know it's also going to remind you of this disconnection this separation or this um breakup or just this very confusing time that you guys have been going through a lot so it's going to be um intensely overwhelming that's probably the best way to put it but I'm also seeing that before you get to this reunion, because I've mentioned I don't necessarily see it being, you know, um, I don't see it happening over the next couple of days or the next couple of weeks. I mean, it might, okay, the trajectory of the energies might change, and for some of you, it might happen sooner than later, fingers crossed, but I do feel like it's, this is, you know, in, in the, um, it's sort of further in the future, okay? So it could be a matter of months, it might be till the end of the year, it might be sometime, you know, with, it might be within the year's time that the two of you are actually going to come back to uh, with one another okay um i feel like your person has got some more growing to do and i think the fact that you know you guys have disconnected is you know it shows fractures in the relationship and it shows fractures in the lack of like in the lack of growth with this connection and i think that you know 
the both of you pulling away from one another is really giving this opportunity to, you know, it's giving you an opportunity to take a look um, at the whole situation, you know, take your, take a look at yourself and take a look at the whole relationship and just the whole setup of it, um, you know, from a different angle, from a different perspective. It's allowing you to see things that you probably wouldn't have otherwise seen before. Um, and I think, you know, sometimes two people need to come back, like need to come apart, okay, so they could, you know, so they could, they, them, them, okay, let me start again, because that did not make any sense. Some people need to come apart so that they could, you know, learn just how much they love each other, or learn just how much they belong with one another, you know, just how much they're destined uh, for each other. So sometimes that separation, that breakup, is what you know, brings back, is what strengthens and, you know, um, guides two souls back to one another. And I think this is a case of what this is. So you, the next time you see this person, it, it feels like it's been some time that the two of you have communicated or, um, you know, even spoken to each other or at least spoken honestly and truthfully with one another. But when eventually you guys do um, catch up again here, it's going to be emotional it's going to be powerful it's going to be very moving and um it's going to be a lot it's going to be intense okay because i feel like things have either ended for you or they are ending for you um but you know we all know that nothing truly ends does it where there is an ending there is always a beginning you know there is always a rebirth and i feel like this is what that is and i feel like you know things need to end before they can begin again for you okay so it's all about you know um, I guess allowing for things to flow naturally and organically from this point on. Okay guys, and these are your messages. Thanks for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. Bye.